Good morning. Good morning, Kuru. I hope all is well. Oh man, yes, I just yawned. Hey, that is fantastic. Nice to have you here. Irish nonsense, dear bard, Lurib, dream team, the power team assembled. Let's go fight some evil in the world. High fiving all around. Hey, Sensen. That's cool, Dennis. Thanks for thanks for the support, regardless. Hey, Tormund. Good morning. All right. Throw some topics. Throw some topics my way. By the way, I'm on 953 followers. Only 47 left to 1,000. Irish does this, yep. High five. Fantastic. I need to set up like counters, you know, like a counter, counter, counting followers and and uh, things like that. That would be cool. Rocket engine salesman, monkey astronaut, angry evil librarian, ambusher. That's pretty interesting. Eternal hero, riverbed horror. So let's see: one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Let's roll the dice, and the dice is number one. And number one is Monkey Astronaut. That's interesting. Monkey, Moki. Monkey Astronaut by Blue Rib. Lou Rib, I'm constantly seeing as some sort of jazz musician. It's funny. All right. Time's a ticking. So, monkey astronaut. All right. First initial thought I was thinking like um, just a monkey in space. <laughs> How original, right? But then I thought, you know, why not? Why not have a manned um, manned space vehicle like a mech? But um, obviously kind of like by NASA, so it's not um, an evil one, but uh, the the monkey sits like in a bubble at the top, um, controlling the the mech. Should have his his tail out of the spacesuit. Monkey head in here. Just add some like a fixture for it. Mm. Hey, Michal. Ekuru, it's the same old dice, but this time I'm not flipping it in the air. I'm rolling it. So I'm re removing the, the unweighted aspect of it. Um, so that's, that's, this is my idea. Uh, I will try to do some sort of NASA mech of some sort. Maybe it's he's collecting. Uh, maybe he has like robotic arms, so he, he can walk around and collect uh, um, uh, 
Yes. <laughs> Whatever it's called. Let's give him like robotic, not like mech arms, but like uh, this. What's his that stupid superhero villain uh, octopus guy with these robotic arms? Let's give him one of those so he can walk around. Yeah. Maintenance. Yeah, let's let's do a maintenance robot. Let's do that. It could actually be in space now. It doesn't need to be to to be walking. So let's let's give it some. Um, it's a good idea. Uh, where, where are you? Irish nonsense. It's a cool idea. Let's let's make it a maintenance suit of sorts for the monkey. That's that's dark, uh, Dennis. <laughs> you don't have a car anymore because you you, you crashed it. So that's a, that's a pretty dark joke. Um, how's uh, your mother, by the way? I read that uh, she got pretty banged up. Is she home as well? On her medications or um, was there any um, like criminal? Um, what's it called? Was it uh, neglect by the other driver? Or was it just an accident? Like I'm, I'm a bit confused of what happened. Oh, that's great, Dennis. That's great. Good to hear. Let's give it like a... Just some sort of... A drill, maybe. Oh really? Oh shit. Well hopefully everything will be sorted and he will um, he will get his just uh, just penalty whatever that penalty is. Um, I mean you, you guys are extremely lucky it could have ended in a completely different way. Especially then if it's his fault, you know. That's crazy. <laughs> there, Bart. <laughs> I'm trying my best. Thanks for the added pressure. So he's kind of sitting and maneuvering the 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 suit. Yeah, exactly, Dennis. That's that's 
I'm so happy that you you two uh, didn't didn't die or that car crash. The photo looked horrible. Like your your car became um what's it called the 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 thing that you play with music with that it's like a whatever not harmonica but harp har har accordion is that what they're called I think it's called accordion. Good luck, Dennis. Hey, Goxix, good morning. Yeah, Dennis, please do. It um, would be really cool to see. Take care, Dennis. Go and uh, do your uh, physio physiotherapy. Good luck. I mean that's that's completely crazy. I'm I'm quite sure that Dennis has a completely different uh, outlook on life now, <laughs> being so close to not making it. It's, it's damn dark. It's horrible. For people who don't know, he was in a car crash. Um, it's crazy. I've broken bones. I've been uh, hurt, but not in a accident like of that scale. No. Um, not where it could have cost my life. Definitely not. I mean, I've had a sword thrown in my head. I've been uh, an explosion has gone off next to me. Uh, stuff like that, but. Not, I mean, the explosion shorter. I mean, that could have ended badly, but uh, but not like sitting in a car and the car smashing, and you know, where you're you're you should be happy that you're alive, kind of deal. You know, I've never been in a situation like that. Touch wood. Got six, yeah. Um, uh, Uh, explosion was um, fireworks, um, huge rocket that misfired, uh, standing next to it, and uh, my brother lost uh, most of his hand, and uh, he got like shrapnels all over his body, my eardrum and um, arm. 
got blasted and uh, there's a huge I have a huge scar in the arm where something went through all the layers of my clothes into the muscle um, I did that and the, the scar is just where my my eyes would be so I, I saved my career by having done martial arts and have a reflex of parrying kicks <laughs> and punches um, otherwise that would sit in my eye and I would be blind in one eye but I, I have a hard time hearing things uh, in one ear and in general both ears but but I don't I don't think that's a big issue to, to deal with I'm you know I, I can see uh, my brother lost a lot of fingers and stuff that was, so he he had a worse deal and he had to become uh, disabled can't do his job anymore that's what happens There's no worries. I, I, I am not offended. I've actually been almost in a car crash, but from a bicycle. Just misfiring, uh, not self made at all. It was just a shitty rocket. Uh, I'll tell you the funny story when I'm, well, I almost got hit by a car. Uh, this was in like in uh, in Finland. I was maybe like 12, 10, maybe something. So imagine a 12 year, 10 year version of, of this this face, my lovely face. Um, so I had borrowed um, I had borrowed a, a old bicycle, and uh, it was like. Kind of, it it was rolling forward. That was about like the the extent of its functionality, right? Uh, but I didn't really care as a kid. It's like, oh, I can I can ride a bicycle. That's all that matters. Right? It rolls forward. There's non-existent brakes. Kind of shitty to control, but at least you know I can run ride out in the summer and and and, and, and explore with a bicycle. So I did that. Um, I was it was this kind of rural kind of seaside town right it wasn't really a, a big city or anything so I, I I had ventured up on a, on a hill like on a road and I thought like all right I gotta go home now so I started riding down the hill um, so I was going like you know as a kid you know you, you love speed and all that thing so I was like going down the hill yeah like going like yeah this this bicycle is fast as as hell, and uh, and then uh, it kind of dawned on me like, right, I'm going down a hill, but over there in front of me is a crossing, um, and it's the main road going that way, like uh, crossing the road. So I was gonna go out in a, on a main road, uh, like heavy traffic. So it's like, all right, I better stop start uh, braking. Um, I was like all right oh shit there's no brakes uh so i had to try like i i was panicking like what should i do what should i do oh shit i don't know what should i do and i i i came to the crossing and uh i was like uh please don't come a car and i looked and there was a car <laughs> and i was like Fah! so i had to start turning and I, I kind of leaned as you know like motorcycles how they how they were leaning so I was like leaning and and, and turning and uh, and 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 I just made the arc so the car came up next to the bicycle and was the the rubber on the handle was like <laughs> sliding on the window of the car I was like oh, and steering wheel all over the place like don't fall don't fall <laughs> and. Uh, uh, luckily, nothing happened. Um, 
I just I just kind of rolled into the into the ditch um, and then just sat down and had to like take a break for 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 twenty minutes. I was just sitting there like, oh my god, that was <laughs> that was so close. <laughs> I think if I would have just gunned it, they would have hit me. But that was so so scary. I was I, I sh almost shot myself, you know, oh. of fear. Ah, oh, that was such a close moment, and I loved it. That like I remember, like, you know, the, like a comedic s scenario where 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 the car just misses you, so you you're rubbing up against the car window. <laughs> it was like exactly like you see in, in funny movies of of some old man like riding on a bicycle, and, you know. But in this case, it was just a, a, a ten year old version of me. But oh man, I got so scared. It was hilarious. It was hilarious, and not at the moment, of course. I I I got terrified, but it was fun. Now it's fun. Now it's a fun story, because I didn't die. <laughs> that makes it a fun story. But that, I would say that is the closest I have come to uh, like immediate danger in accident style thing. Thanks, Gaxix. Yeah, the thing is with the, this cartoony style, it's very easy for me. So, so it comes very naturally. Um, always when I'm drawing, I try to, to, to limit the cartoony. But uh, I thought today I, I'd uh, increase the amount of cartoony flavor a bit. Like one of my 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 dreams or goals, rather not dreams. Um, I, I I don't think it's un un unattainable, unattainable. I mean, is um, working with uh, Pixar. So that's one of my uh, uh, goals is to uh, to do some cute cartoony stuff with Pixar. Michal, um, sometimes yes, marketing art, um, 
generally it's a good idea to uh, to use photos to further uh, crush uh, information into the painting um, so what I usually do is uh, when doing like more high resolution marketing art stuff where it needs to be photorealistic uh, I uh, take sections of photos and, and squash them and warp them correctly into my painting and um, match the light and so on. Um, there's this a lot of these subtle little hints of information that it's very key to get the realistic look. I mean, you can paint them. It's just m way more effort and, and uh, time that's required, so it's easier to just kind of squash photos in there. And it's good to know how to do it by hand. Um, it's definitely a good thing to, to practice. So that's a, a danger of using photos, is that you don't learn what the photos do um, when you're using them. You think you're like, oh, look at all this detail I can do which doesn't necessarily mean that you can do them. You just know how to place them. Um, hey, Gaxix, yeah, I used to do comics. Um, well, like when I was around 18. Uh, but uh, uh, not anymore. I've always had it easy with this kind of cartoony style. Um, so naturally it fits well with more kind of kids oriented products um, where a lot of people might have problems um, drawing funny cute stuff for kids. I tend to have quite easy easy time doing doing just that, you know. Because of, of me doing cartoons or comics many years ago. No, that's that being said, I'm, I'm not disillusioned thinking I'm some sort of comic art, comic uh, cartoon, a comic artist. But uh, I just have it easy to do some, some, you know, cuter stuff. Kuro, yeah. It's, I think it's an easy thing to 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 happen. I think it's uh, not that uh, uncommon actually that you start something and then you shift interest. Um, I think that's a problem when starting um, projects. <laughs> Like oh this project would be so fun to do and you, you 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 have that initial drive and then and then nothing you know doesn't end up being anything I think it's too easy to not to stick with it but I always try to to carry something through um, just for the sake of wrapping it because you learn different things um, by pursuing a project. Michal, uh, yeah, yeah that's a, I think that's a valid idea of uh, enhancing what looks right, uh, enhancing your designs with what looks right, uh, for using photos and, and practicing that aspect. You know, there's nothing wrong with it. Exactly, Gaxix. Um, <clears throat> it's tricky. I mean, pr a project you can uh, have as a as a hobbyist, but ideally, a project has to. I mean, as a professional artist, 
you would like the project to end up being something that other people can enjoy or pay for or you know <clears throat> okay let's do some blocking blocking That's cool, Michal. That's great. As per usual, I'm going quiet now. <laughs> Stupid brain. Nothing I can do about it. Concentration takes over. So I might um, stream this weekend as I don't have uh, that many days left to wrap up my movie project. Um, so um, I might stream to, to, to finish some of those illustrations. Just kind of to go over them, most of them, uh, uh, do some changes to what needs to be changed, uh, so that I'm happy, and so on. So most likely I'll I'll, uh, I'll stream some tonight, um, have some wine or something, and talk shit uh, for a couple hours. Uh, as per usual, I'll, I'll I'll announce it on Twitter and. Uh, Facebook if I do. That's cool, Lure. Yeah, hopefully. Uh, and I'm usually on there for, for quite some time, you know, so... Um, I wonder... Said the flounder. I do like that, and then how is By the way, I uh, I dug out my uh, Indiana Jones collection. I started watching. Uh, I watched the uh, last night. I watched the first uh, movie from eighty one. Uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark is it? Such an iconic movie. Really good fun.
All right, that's it. <clears throat> or actually, let's do one last thing just to pop the monkey a bit. There we go. All right, that's it. Um, Uh, thanks everyone for coming. Thanks for the funny topic, Lurib. Uh, monkey astronaut was uh, was a fun thing to draw actually. It's pretty good. Um, so uh, have a great day. Good night. Um, I'll announce if I stream something tonight. Uh, I will most likely do that. Um, um, Dor Tormod, yeah, that's definitely. I, I noticed recently that you could add text to it that uh, is outlined, so I'll, I'll do that. Um, anyways, thanks everyone for coming. Oh, by the way, check out my t-shirt. Fear the beard. Oh, yeah. All right. Bye, all. Good idea, Captain Jetlag, I will throw that.